Here we go, painting time. It's time for some paint. Everybody loves some oil paintings. All right, what am I doing? So I, I want to put the tree in. Um, I probably should have got the brush for the tree before I sat down and turned on the stream. But that appears to be how I roll today, is unprepared. All right, so I got a premium bristle brush. That's better than a junk bristle brush, I guess. So this was small enough, I think, to do the tree. So I'm going to need, uh, what do I need? need green. So that is fairly dark green to make up uh, some of that. I don't have blue here, and I got yellow so there's my darker green a little bit of brown not a lot okay and get a pretty good pile of this dark green so that's going to be sort of our starter color pick up some of that yellow all right so that's a nice sort of viridian green so it's a nice starter green. Let's see how that looks. I think it's going to look a little more green than what I expect. And it's a little too dark. Let's grab a little yellow and brighten that up a bit. A little more blue. All right, that's a better. A little more yellow. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is a fairly dark color still and then I want to lighten it up as it comes down and below here but we can sort of get in just the just the base here all right grab some of that so let's Get in some of this green up here. I don't want to get overly detailed, but I don't want a big blob. So I do want sort of a feel of individual leaves, individual pine cones, or whatever. I'm not sure what the terminology is for a Christmas tree. I know this one comes out a little bit like this. And we'll come in between these with like that. It looks pretty good. All right, and then more of this darker green over here. And that's what it comes up in here. Like that. Looks pretty good. A little more of this. Let's make a little more of this dark green here. A little yellow. A little blue. A little more yellow. All right, now this nice dark green. Sure does make a good base. What you don't want is like a really bright glow-in-the-dark green as your sort of your base starter color there. You want something nice like this. Like that. It sort of comes out a little. Okay. Pretty cool. It has a nice feel to it. I like it. I know that here is going to be sort of dark. I don't want to hit inside that guy there. Alright. Pretty cool. So let's get more yellow. And let's create a new green. It's going to be a little brighter. All right, and then let's get this brighter green. 
So to come in here between these, I don't want to fill up the whole thing, but I do want a nice variation here. So a little bit of that brighter green up in there, in there, between there. That. So I need to move the camera over so you can see it. See if I can zoom in, that'd be kind of cool. Let's see if it's going to let me zoom. Will you let me zoom, zoom? 5X, that's gonna be extreme. No magnification, it's not letting me do it. Why not? Why not? Oh well. I'll figure it out before next time. That'd be kind of cool to have it zoomed in a little more. All right, I want this lighter green on the outskirts of this um, of this tree as well. So like as you come out here, it's going to be a little brighter green there. Like that. And as you come up, we got a little bright, bright greeny green there. that and as you come out here a little brighter I think that looks pretty cool so let's get a different style let's put more yellow in it and get like a really really yellowy green and the really yellowy green will be like right here because it's sort of interacting with this yellow as it comes in that that looks pretty good it's got a nice feel to it so let's come back in with this medium green and I want to touch just a little touch on the outskirts here and get some of that and put it up in there like that there we go I don't want to flood this thing with this that it's got a nice feel to it I think we need to come back in with some more darks I think we're losing the sort of the dark feel to the inside of the window here all right so let's go back let's make a super super dark green so we're gonna go all blue and mix it in this dark green pile so now we have like a dark green all right, so let's reestablish some of the darks um, on the outside here. I think it got a little too heavy-handed with the that bright green. Like that. Like that. It looks pretty good looks pretty good one little dark right in here like that and this is a little thin like that looks pretty good all right so I need to fill out the bottom here with a little more That. and I think that's going to do me okay all right cool now let's do the Christmas lights that's the most fun part of the whole thing 
Oh, that's going to ruin my brush. I'm going to get red. It's going to be a bright red. It's going to ruin my brush. Mm. Um, yeah. I'm really thinking of breaking out like a cadmium red just for this, just for the lights, right? Because I don't think I want this dark alizarin crimson kind of red. I think that for the Christmas lights, I think you'd be better off for that. So I have cadmium chartouse, which is like a bright neon yellow. You know, that would go perfect. Look at that, that bright neon yellow. And then let's get a bright neon red, get us a cadmium red. I'm thinking cadmium red light at this point. So I got a few reds. Yeah. So let's go with cadmium red light. Don't need much. We're literally making one dot with it. But cool. I'm happy with that. I think this is gonna look good. Okay. Hey Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. It's time for the Christmas light, Sherry. Alright, let's get us a red. Got cadmium red light. Let's get a really gooey brush here. Yeah, that is a gooey brush. Want a red dot right there. Like that. And let's get a red dot here. And one here. I'm sort of replicating the painting, the, the, the uh, other... Dorothy's painting. No, that's my painting actually. Right here. The reference photo on the screen is mine. But I do have Dorothy's original painting on my iPad. So I'm sort of getting a little both. That. I don't want to go crazy with it. Okay, so that's my red. Got my nice cadmium red. Now, what are the colors? I got this cadmium chartouse. Chartouse. Let's grab a hunk of that. Do me, do me right, cadmium chartouse. Show me your cadmium, poisonous cadmium ways. Well, wow, that's not coming off. What's going on? Come off the brush, you silly. There we go. All right. Let's get cadmium chartouse right here. Like that. All right, I got a nice big glob. It does not want to come off. That doesn't look like an ornament, it looks like a leaf. I need to fix this. All right. Why isn't that coming off the brush, Sherry?
couple here. All right, you get the idea. I think it's all right. Sort of a sparse decoration, but this cadmium chartreuse is not doing me good at all. I'm tempted just to dip into this right here, this yellow, just dip, because this is pre-thinned, and now I can get a little better. That's much better. Okay, I think that's sufficient. It's a little sparse on the decorations, but whatever. All right. All right, enough tree decorations for today. I think that looks pretty good. It's got a nice Christmassy feel. Hey, Pat. All right, so that's got a nice Christmassy feel to it. I like it. So I think now it needs more yellow fiery look inside there, but we'll save that until later. Right now I want to get these greens. So I need to address my green problem on the left here. Let's get some blue, some yellow. Blue and yellow. All right, so I want dark here. So you guys get the fun stuff. Before I started streaming, I went over all the walls. That wasn't fun at all. Hey, Bev. All right, it looks pretty good. Could use a little more green, like right in here. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, a little more here, maybe. Okay, so now let's get into the lights. So I want this light green here, a little more yellow. It's medium, just get it medium, medium green. There we go. So this medium green is going to be a fill-in in between the... Like this. that looks pretty good a little more yellow okay and I want it's nice light to come through over here and then that. Now I want my bright yellow. My bright yellow. Bright yellow is going to hit it.
that. That looks nice. Okay, time for the reds. Now back to my red, Siri. What did I do in the red brush? Here it is. Okay. So now, let's get this beautiful cadmium red. This one's already thin. This is nice and liquidy. Nice and liquidy. This is Blue Ridge Oil Paint. That It's one dude. It's one guy. He makes his own oil paint, and it's the most wonderful stuff. you have ever encountered like seriously all right and then we have this bright color that okay that looks good now let's get this dark red all right mix this up some darks red dark red put a little green in it i want it a little desaturated a little more green A little more green. Ah, just go into the greens. That's nice. Look at that. That's a nice luscious dark red right there. All right. Now we're going to have to get this. <clears throat> okay. That's okay. Get more of that luscious red. And come in here with this. That. that needs to be a little thicker at the bottom, doesn't it? What do you think, Sherry? Needs to be a little thicker at the bottom. We have this bow here. Looks all right it looks like a wreath that's what I was going for is it looks like a wreath as long as it looks like it we're good I did mess up my browns though can't have this trace line be there Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, got my Christmas tree, got my wreath. Oh, we are making headway here. Now I need to go in. What is this? That's my brown. I need to go in, get some of the light brown, get some of this, some of that. Get this light brown. That's going to be right here. That sort of looks like my base coat color, or whatever. Whatever, whatever. Right, 
come in here, get right up against this lady here. Let's get some darks, some of this darker color, and this turned out a little bit smaller than what I had expected. Let's fill it in. All right, that looks like I want it to look. Looking very Christmassy. Well, thank you. That's what I was shooting for. That's sort of what I was going for there. All right. Let's get the rooftop. And that is my white, isn't it? Yeah, this is my pure white. Um, uh, ma, ma, ma. Rooftop white here. I want a little curvature there. All right. Pressing lighter as I come up here. Like that. And now I have another brush. Sherry, I literally have like 30 brushes sitting here. I went all out for this. All right, we'll tweak that later. Tweak that a little later, Sherry. Right now I wanna get a big blob of white on it. Like right in here. Like that, okay, cool. All right, that looks okay. So let's fill in the windows. Not Microsoft Windows, the regular windows. Hmm. Let's go on the... This would be a sufficient color for the top, I think. Yeah, this is this weird color I mixed up. It's like a, it's like a building gray or something odd gray color that I made. And with the top of the windows, like this, bring that down a little more than I should, a little more than I would, should have, would have made this a little larger. There we go. Okay. Same here. And as it goes around the building, it gets smaller, I think. All right, smaller and thinner and lighter. Let's get a little white in there. And then this final one is fairly light and small. All right, now I need an underneath color. That is my brown. I do have a brown brush. Is this it? That's the brush I just had. Well, I did have a brown brush. Apparently, I don't anymore. What did I do with it? I clearly don't have enough brushes. Is this it? Uh, take some of that. 
I'm going to take some of this, and I want this brown ledge right underneath here. That's fairly brown, but whatever. And then that stops there, and then it resumes. Let's get a little more brown. That resumes here, and we have a nice defined angle right here. And I want to leave that that snow. There we go. So it looks like the snow is sort of sneaking out. It's sneaking out of there. The snow is like, let me out of here. All right. I like that brown for sort of a, a little highlight color right there to indicate there's some darkness there. This is a terrible brush for this. Oh well, we'll make it work. We'll reinvent ourselves, make it work. I just want a little bit. I don't want to smother it in there. And I do want a little brown up top to start out our dark window. I don't want to smother that either. A little brown up top there. Did I mention this is a terrible brush to do this with? I have literally no paint on the brush whatsoever. Go get some. Get our little brown dark area there. All right, I think that's working out. Er, uh, yeah. All right. Let's get that brown color. Let's come back in here. And I want to get the same color here. Sort of start the top of these windows. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now let's install. Where did my brush go? Okay, what is that? Is it my orange? Yes, it is. Alright. Let's start our orange action. We've got some orange here. A little red, a little yellow. Alright, so this is a sort of a desaturated orange, a little bit. I don't want to ruin my ledge. Alright, a little brighter. It's a little too desaturated. pretty good. That has a nice glowy feel to it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do think we need a little of this cadmium red mixed in with the yellow. I think that's going to give us a little better orange for what we're doing here. All right. Orange, you glad you got the orange? See, look at that cadmium red, really just brighten that orange up quick. Alright, so that goes there. And then we'll get the orangey 
little more kid red. All right. Whoa. Don't mess up your sky, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. Need more paint. Needs more cowbell. All right. It's pretty good. All right, so now I want just pure yellow. Let's hit pure yellow here. And before we mix it and ruin the pure yellow in our brush, let's mix some here. And finally, you guessed it, we mix some here. All right. And that looks like it has a little white in it too. Let's find our ledge. Our ledge sort of comes up a little. And right here, it sort of straightens out. And then right here, it comes down a little. There we go. All right, cool. I think we can tolerate that. There's that fine line between a nicely lit window and it looks like the house is on fire. And we want to avoid the house is on fire look because that's not a good look. I came a little too far up there, but that's okay. That's nice. I think it looks all right. I did lose my darks, man. I lost a whole lot of dark action up top. I don't even have my brown brush anymore. What do I do with it? Here it is. All right, let's get our darks. Let's reestablish those because that's bothering me now. Brown. All right. Reestablish the darks. It's a little too much, whatever. Okay, I think that looks all right. I came too far with the darks, but whatever. Can restore a little bit of this yellow. Get some of that cartouche. And some of this orange. that it's all right let's see get some bright orange get reestablish some of that all right okay cool so let's go with the bottom let's get our bright orange let's make a good pile of this all right 
Yeah, that is glow in the dark orange. kid's face come into this brown and I need to find the ledge I think the ledge is here that'd be alright and then the ledge is here and then the ledge is here okay It's a nice orange. Right. I think that'd be all right. Now let's hit it with the yellow action. Okay. Let's see a little yellow there. Okay, little yellow here, right there. It's not enough. A little more than a dot. All right, that needs to be brightened up some. I think it's just too dark. All right, and then a little yellow on this side. All right. And this one's nice and bright. A little brighter. Okay, looks pretty good. So there's some white in some of the hotter areas. Let's get those established real quick. So I don't want to drown this in white, but I don't want to lose the super bright parts. Oh well. I don't lose the super bright parts like right here. Like that. And then here, we have sort of a hot spot right there. Like that. And then, got a little bit of a hot spot right here. We go and then get our bright white and a little spot there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Welcome back, Sherry. We did the windows while you were gone. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think we need a little bit of a sort of a white highlight right here on the side of this. 
like right here that's gonna be way too bright all right right here like that sherry what do you think like that No, nope, house is not on fire. It looks exactly like the reference photo. This looks exactly like the reference photo. So, nope, not on fire. Does look nice. All right. So now we need to establish sort of our yellow hot spots over here so on a yellow hot spot here that like that and then over here we need a yellow spot against here get more yellow Okay, I think that looks good. What I want to do too, since this is sort of in the line of there we go, just a little, not a lot, just a touch. All right, that's a lot of work. Hmm. So that's presents and gifts that she's holding here. All right. So I got there and I got there. And that's not level. I know I need to level that. So I'm not going to paint it quite yet. So let's get the side of this. That is nice and white. Keep with the highlight. All right. Like that. I think that looks all right. Then let's we come down with that. looks pretty good so I need to darken the edge of this other thing ah, we're going an hour and a half today you'd be proud of me Sherry I've done about four hours of painting today which was my goal I didn't just stop at an hour how surprising is that I'm not sure I agree with the reference. 
wouldn't this be bright on like both sides if it's right next to a window with this tree Hmm. All right. Well, that's all right. Doesn't look too bad. Could use a little bit of a dark area. Right here, like right there. There we go. It's nice, that little dark area gives it a nice feel. Nice feel to it there, Sherry. All right, let's get our white. And let's come in here. That's a bit wider than the reference, but I think it works. What do you think? It's a bit wider than the reference. A little bit. Okay, you put some, as you say, put some depth on the other side. So you doing a Bob Ross this weekend, sir? Going to get your Bob Ross in? Maybe on PBS, yeah. I watch him on Twitch. They do a lot of um, streams with old episodes on Twitch. I like watching him on that.
I hear dogs. Oh, yeah, me too. I bought a bunch of the DVDs. All right. So I think the car snow looks good. The roof snow definitely looks good. I'm startled at how good the roof snow looks. So I want to do the people last. Mm. So I have a problem. This is not level. This bar. So I'm going to have to break out a level and fix it. And I don't really want to do that right now. Um, I guess we'll start with a car. So I have a, I thought I had a brush that was sort of dark color. Yeah, I'm not sure what that brush is. That is, I want to preserve that. All right, we'll get the brown brush. I need more brushes. Seriously. All right, so this is brownish black, and I want it to be dark. I don't like how light it is. I don't like how light it is in the first one. I don't like how light it is in the second one I did. This one, I'm going to fix it. All right, it's going to be really dark. Bring it really forward. Make a nice, nice brown black. That's what we want. All right, so this is brown black, and we'll just start painting the car. So I want to leave this nice highlight in between. It's a little blue black. Have I bought any new brushes? I have 13 brushes in my cart, and I'm just waiting on for payday to check out. The problem I'm having is these brushes here, I only have three, and I need at least seven, at least seven. So I'm having a, I'm having a brush crisis over here. That's still blue. Come on. Okay, I'm having a brush crisis over here. I need seven. Because the problem is, is in the method taught by Mark Carter, the draw mixed paint, what you have is you have one, no, you have two of these and they're black, solid black. Because if you touch, if you touch these into any other color or white, if they're solid black, it ruins it and it muddies up your blacks and you don't have these pretty blacks anymore and then you need two that are dark almost black and then you need two that are white and then you need two that are mid-tone so overall you're talking like eight brushes and these are only like two dollars I see no reason for me not to spend the extra sixteen dollars and just get the brushes that I need anyway Because when I do portraits, if I do not have these brushes, if you get a black, solid black brush and you dip that into white, even a little bit, it's done. You're remixing. It's done. And now you have to go wash it out, which is a pain, obviously. Because I don't really want to wash out brushes because I'm lazy. You knew that. I am definitely lazy. So 
So if I have eight of these brushes and spend the $16, I will be a happy, happy painter. I will make happy trees and all that stuff. Okay, starting on the car. Man, this looks good. I'm just looking at it now. I like it because it's nice and dark up here. I like that. I like it dark right here, too. Because this has no light source on this side, Sherry. No light source at all, so you need to make it dark. Alright. Cool. Alright, now I have run out of my blacks. Let me start a new pile right there. I'm going to make this my brown black pile because I need that for the car. Alright. Look at that beautiful dark. Oh, that's so nice. This is what life is meant to be. Beautiful, beautiful darks. Putting it on the car like this. Makes you happy. If you were in a bad mood, all you gotta do is paint. You'll instantly be in a good mood. pretty good so let's see where we have these pitch darks so the light source is here so this has no light whatsoever right here it's underneath another object so I want this to be pitch black at the top And this is where I'm changing from the source. All right, now when you get towards the bottom, that's gonna have reflective light from the snow. So let's get a reflective light brush, Sherry. Make us a dedicated brush just for reflected light. And I'll choose this one. So this is gonna be reflected light. So I want the same color but lighter and bluer because snow's blue. See so my light blue there. And get a little brown, not much. All right, so I have a brownish, bluish reflected light. So it's still not light, colored. That is significantly lighter. All right, and then get this and blend it. Bring that brown down. So you have that, so sort of a little reflected light. I think I went a bit overboard on it. Alright, so that's sort of what I wanted there. 
right? You'd have it coming up off the snow, right? Okay. So now, let's go back into our dark. And then we have this. Okay. It needs to come forward a little. Alright. That looks alright. Okay. So let's get this dark here. Okay, looks pretty good. And then we have a dark here. Okay. So let's get the dark on the wheels. I don't want to do the wheels just yet. I think I made the mistake last time of doing the wheels and this intricate detail and then I had to get the snow in and the snow kept ruining my wheels so I'm not going to do that this time. Not going to happen this time. Okay, so same thing with the darks come up. Okay, let's mix in a little bit more. I mixed a ton of it, Sherry, but it still wasn't enough. All right. Okay. It's coming to life now. Now that I've been messing around with the car. I don't want to do that yet. So let's. How long have we been going? Only an hour ten. So let's start with our snow. Nothing says a happy day like some snow. Mm. All right, light source here coming down. So underneath the car. It's going to be the heaviest snow. No doubt about it. Let's get... 
Let's get some darker snow. So underneath the car, in the reference photo, it actually looks like Dorothy didn't do it dark enough either. It looks like she went back and fixed it. All right, so there's going to be shadow here. And then underneath the car, there will be shadow as well. Underneath the car, it's shadowy. Where are you at? In my kitchen? So there'll be light coming through here. So this will be a little lighter. And then you have a shadow caused by the car here. You have shadow caused by the wheel here. Can you even see that? Sorry. Alright, so there's shadow caused by this wheel here. And then there'll be a residual shadow here. And then underneath the car, it actually would be light because the light source is behind us. All right, cool. All right, and now there's a shadow uh, that's going to be affected by the people. So shadow here. Sort of curving. All right, and then the shadow caused by this wheel here. That's going to be direct line coming out here, like that. All right, so that'd be all right. It looks all right. Got a little shadow from the gifts. Look, Siri, he brought you some gifts. He brought a dog, too. All right, a little shadow caused by this guy over here. It's going to be aiming a little over here, like that. Okay, shadow caused by the dog. So we were pretty liberal on our shadows. Now I need a shadowy color that's going to be really, really sort of uh, green. So let's add some yellow in there. Let's add some white because we want it to be a little lighter. All right, so this is our shadow for this. That's a little too green. Let's bring it back to bring it back here. Make it lighter like that. So that's going to be our shadow for this area over here. I think that's dark enough. Right. 
So we have a cast shadow caused by these brush. It's going to come out about like that. I think that works. Okay, and I want that to be darker as you come up here. Like that. All right, looks pretty good. Okay. And now it's white everywhere else. Let's get a big glob of white. Here's the fun part, Sherry. Whee! All right. All right. Got nice shadows in there. Let's go to town on this. We got our shadows, Siri. Now we get to have fun, right? This is the part I was looking forward to, just goofing off. balance this out later with some a little bit more blue in there a little bit more blue mix this paint sure makes some good looking snow I'll tell you that Yeah, painting is nice and relaxing. You don't got to worry about anything. If you mess it up, who cares? Who will know? If you mess it up really bad, don't include the reference photo. And you're still good. You just made it abstract. Man. 
Okay. We'll tone this down later. Abstract is a way to go. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now let's get some blue tones in there. I think we went a little too crazy. Come in here and just sort of chill this out. So. pretty good so far. All right, coming up on an hour and a half, and I'm extremely pleased with what I got. So I'm going to stop here, take a break, eat, oh, and go work out. And I shall return tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we'll finish this thing and then start something else. I need to finish that cat. We'll finish the cat after this. Thanks, everyone, for joining.